Okay, so we're going to go through a few important lessons in Chapter 2, your new microscope, about how to use the microscope. So first, you always want to carry the microscope with one hand on the handle and another hand under the base. And when you're not using it, you should always leave it in the styrofoam kit box so that it stays clean and doesn't gather dust and you can use it for a long time. You also, if you have never used it, are going to need to add three AA batteries. So if the ocular lens is already in here, you need to take it out. So you want to take the ocular lens out, put it down to the side, then you can turn the microscope upside down and open the battery compartment and then add the three AA batteries right into here. There's one, two, and three. And then add this piece back on. And then we can fit the ocular lens back on. And now we're ready to roll. So a microscope can be used as a magnifying glass or a microscope. And you might ask yourself, well, what's the difference? So a magnifying glass, you use only the light that's coming from above, either from the lamp or the sun, and you're just looking through the hole and using the microscope as a magnifying glass. With the microscope, though, the light is coming from underneath, which means that what you're looking at has to be very, very thin because the light is coming from underneath and that's what's letting you look through what's on the microscope. And you might think to yourself, well, things in the world aren't really that thin, but in this manual, you're going to learn lots of tips for cutting so that you can use this as a microscope. So again, with a magnifying glass, the light comes from above, and using it as a microscope, the light comes from below. Now, if you want to know the magnification with which you're looking at something as a microscope, you multiply the number that's on the ocular lens, which is... 10 times, 10 magnification, by the number that's on the objective lens. And these lenses down here are the objective lenses. So let's say I have it on the yellow one, and the yellow one is 10. So 10 times 10 is 100. That means that what I'm looking at in the microscope is magnified 100 times its actual size. Okay, so now we're going to try using the microscope as a magnifying glass and you're going to want to get a colorful image from a magazine and you're going to stick it right on the base. You can use these prongs to secure it. Then we're going to want to switch the objective lens to the lowest magnification, which is four times. This is the red one. Then you're going to want to turn on the incident lamp from above. So set setting number two on this switch right here and then you're going to look in and at first you probably won't be able to see very much so you're going to have to focus using these knobs right here and you can bring the image farther away and closer to you until you get it in sharp focus and you might be surprised to see what an image from a magazine looks like close up it's just a bunch of dots and this image is magnified if you remember the number on the objective lens multiplied by the number on the ocular lens. So that would be 4 times 10, which is 40. So you're looking at the image magnified 40 times its actual size. And you can also play with using a different magnification. So let's move it to the 10, to the yellow objective lens, and look inside. You're going to have to focus again. And once again, you'll probably see dots, and this time you're seeing them closer because you're seeing them at 10 times 10, 100 times the magnification. But when using the microscope as a magnifying glass, it's important to only use the 4 times magnification or the 10 times magnification. Don't use the 40 times because that's only intended for transmitted light microscopy. In other words, only use the 40 times magnification when you're using the microscope as a microscope with light coming from below. If it turns out that you can't see anything and you're having trouble, you want to make sure that there are batteries in the compartment. The batteries are fresh, 
the correct lamp is turned on, the objective is properly engaged instead of being in between two objective lenses, you're actually on one of them. If there's light and you still can't find the object, you want to make sure that there actually is an object under the objective lens and that you can actually see the object even with your naked eye. You want to make sure that the objective lens is over the light opening instead of being off of it. It's also possible that you are too quick to judge and you should take a little more time to look again. And you also want to be careful when you're turning this knob up and down that you don't bump the base onto the objective lens, otherwise you could damage the lens. Okay, so now we're going to try using the microscope as a microscope. So you're going to need one of the prepared slides that's in the kit, and you can take it out. Let's say you take out the paramecia. You're going to put it on the base, and you can secure it there by lifting these, these little toggles up just by pressing on the short side and then releasing them, making sure that the paramecia is right above the hole where the light goes through. And now we're going to turn the setting to 1 so that the light is coming from below and make sure that it's on the smallest magnification, 4x. And then we're going to look inside and once again you can use these knobs to focus and you'll be able to see paramecia. You might have to move the slide around in order to be able to see them, but you'll know when you see them because they're stained with colors. So once you've looked at them under the 4 magnification, which is 4 times 10, 40 times their actual size, you can switch the objective lens to 10, which is 100 times the magnification, and you'll have to adjust again. Wow! And then you can switch one last time, making sure there's enough room for the 40 times magnification lens. You might want to move the base down. You want to make sure that the ocular lens doesn't hit the slide. And in order to move it to the highest magnification, you should get a paramecia or whatever you're looking at right where the needle is pointing. So make sure it's right in the center. And then you might want to lower the base a little to make sure that the 40 times ocular lens fits, then switch it to the 40, which is now 400 times the magnification, and then adjust the focus knobs. If you're not able to see anything, you can also try rotating the aperture wheel, which is on the left of the microscope. The different numbers correspond with different sizes of holes that let the light through. And you might think that more light means you can see better, but that's not necessarily the case. Sometimes less light, which are lower numbers, means that you can see better. So you can just play with allowing more and less light into the microscope in order to see. You want to be very careful when you're using the highest magnification, the blue objective lens. You want to make sure that it never touches the slide because that could both damage the slide and even break it, and it can also damage the lens, which is very sensitive. If the lenses ever get dirty, any of the objective lenses and also the ocular lens, you can clean them with special lens cleaning paper that comes in the kit. You should never use any water or cleaning agents. For each new thing that you're looking at, it is suggested that you start with the lowest magnification first, with the red ocular lens, then move on to the yellow ocular lens, the next level of magnification. And finally, if you're using the microscope like a microscope, move on to the blue ocular lens. You should also see a black needle in your view, which is a piece of wire in the ocular lens that's useful for showing things to people. So you can line up a slide so that something interesting is right at the pointer of the needle and then you can pass the microscope to someone so they can look at it. You can also move the needle around by rotating the ocular lens like this. And if you ever decide that you don't want the needle in there, you can look inside and you'll see that there's a wire in there and you can pull it out with tweezers and then you can put it back in when you want it. 
So now you know how to use your microscope and you're ready to move on to other experiments in this kit.